Provincial Madonna, Part 2. Sergei, why didn't you call me and say you would stay for the night? Did I offend you? Lilia, I, I am guilty. Don't say anything. No, it's my fault. I was so nervous about that opening, but listen. I understand your son has to come first. Let's forgive each other for everything. Come in, please. Excuse me, Galena. I really want off night shifts, Here please. we go. I don't like this, and I don't like that. So I must move in here now? I just can't stay on duty huh? at night. But I can, right? I can do everything. You're still young, while well, I have high blood pressure and want to retire. Here's the certificate. 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 I know the value of these, and I could forge a thousand for sure. Now it's changed. We'll have to think of something. Get out of here now, will you? <laughs> Nadia, hold on. <laughs> we work together and I hardly see you. Do you need something? Yeah, I wanted to ask you if you entered the university, huh? No, I'm not going. Oh, really? <laughs> no way. You wanted to become a doctor. I did, but I don't now. You're hiding something. You don't want to tell me because you're afraid I'll go, right? I'm not afraid of anything. You can't go because of the money? They're living on your salary. No, not at all. Sergei sends money. Please, Nadia, that's for the child. And everyone knows how Natasha is. Listen, why don't I go and talk to your sister? I mean, she knows me. I'll surely be able to help out, and then we can prep in the winter and take our exams. I'm not going anywhere, because I am pregnant. The father's Valerka? Well, come on now, why would you think that? Well, who's the father then? Look, it's none of your business, all right? Please, don't ask silly questions and don't come to our house, okay? You're admiring yourself. <laughs> Look how pretty and full you are now. <laughs> Nothing like the time when you were in college, honey. Well, but I like studying. Well, it's time you liked something else. What do you mean? I mean grooms. <laughs> oh, my, look how delicious you have become. <laughs> now there'll be no end to the suitors. I'll quickly get you married. Although we have no money, but I'll think of something. Mom. Yes? Mm, there will not be any wedding. Ah, oh, so then it's university? No, there'll be no university. I'm pregnant now. Who did it? Don't say it was an accident. I'm not going to say anything. This is just my child with no father. Fine. What's the term? So will you have time to get an abortion? I'm so sorry, but it's too late. All right. You should have told me. Mm -hmm. Why were you waiting? Mm -hmm. What were you thinking? Look at you and you're smiling now. I just knew you would be mad, so I didn't tell you anything. Uh, I really want to have this baby, Mother, and I will. You tell me now who you had sex with. It wouldn't be me if I did Mom, not. stop it. I mean, uh, stop. I'm not going to tell you. Uh, <laughs> Ha 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 
Mom, why are you crying? Nothing bad happened. Quite the opposite. Yes, there's only good. You love Misha, and you're going to love this baby, too. There was happiness in the house, and now it will be killed. Happiness? It's a shame loud and clear. I've raised two daughters. One was left with the baby by her husband, and the other is giving birth without a husband at all. Oh, God, what did I do to Why are you screaming? I could hear you from outside. Oh, so our A student is ashamed now, too? You're the elder sister, aren't you? Ask her. Ask her whose baby is she having. No, oh, wait. She isn't saying? And she won't. Don't you know Nadia, Mom? She's tough as a stone. She only looks so quiet. Apparently, he's not going to marry her, but he'll have to give her money. I'm not going to help you with the baby. But I can make him pay the alimony. I'll help you. I know it must be Slavka. Or Valerka. I'll go and talk to their mothers today for you. But none of them is the father. Oh, how could you? It seems to me you're proud of it. You could have at least acted ashamed. <laughs> hey, you know what? If I'm such a shame for you, I will happily uh, leave home. Oh, come on, Nadia. You have nowhere to go. I'll find My a place. My dear, where would you go, huh? Natasha and I aren't doing it out of mean spirit. We're just worried about you. Yeah. You're no bride with a baby, I assure you. Mom? Natasha? Look, I love this baby, and know that I love you very much, too. We love you, too. Our stupid girl. Perhaps it will be a girl. <laughs> to have another child out of wedlock? No way. It had better be a boy. <laughs> Since you know everything, you must be aware of who gave you that gift, aren't you? Why must I be aware? I don't monitor the personal lives of my employees. Your daughter can do what she wants with her life. That's the thing. She doesn't do anything. She goes from home to work and from work to home. She barely knows anyone. But she does spend her nights here. She spends her nights on duty, meaning she is working here at night. Uh-huh. And when the patients are asleep, who knows what she does? Slavka Koshurgin works here, and I think it's him. Kochurgin works on the ambulance. He's barely in the department, and do you know how many serious patients we have? Nurses uh can't even find the time to sit down, let alone romancing. Stop suspecting our hospital. You'd better watch your daughter. Take care of what she does in her spare time. You know quite well how still waters run. Mm. So listen, let's make a word out of these cubes while Grandma's busy making a salad over there. What's the first letter? C. I like it. Very good. What's the second one? Mm, a. No, pick the round letter. O? Yes, that's right. right. O. Teach him how to spell watermelon now. I bet you'll start teaching your baby reading when it's in the carriage. The earlier, the mm -hmm. better, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. and earlier, we have to buy a carriage, a bed, and diapers. That makes me worried. Where will we find the money? Maybe your man can help us with that? Mother, stop it. I told you already. We will use Misha's carriage and bed for mine. Listen. Why don't you ask Natasha? I know she has some stashed. She's saving for a new flat. She wants to move away from us, and she thinks some good men will rush over there for her. Ah! Uh -huh. They'll rush to get the flat, but will they raise Misha? Mother, I cannot do this now. <gasps> Misha, mm. go call your mom. <sighs> I'll ask her, my proud and stubborn girl. Well, what is it? Can't you cut up carrots without me? Natasha, Nadia is giving birth soon, and we need to have a dowry. Okay. Well, perhaps you could borrow some money for your sister. I... I've saved some money, but it's not a lot. I told you how you should act. Sergei may not be so good, but he gives money, and he will. Well, she has no Sergei, but she's going to have a baby. How is that my fault? I have no money. Find someone rich. How about your stash? I have no stash, mother. It's all spent on my son. Misha, what's that out the window? Nothing, Mom. All right. There's nothing there. All right, go to the kitchen. Eat your salad.
The lawyer is suggesting that I should sue. She says that if she prevents me from seeing my son and doesn't work, I can try to get custody. Well, perhaps you should. Is it that hard? No, there are chances, but I don't know how Natasha is going to behave. If I win, Misha would miss his mother. Yeah, but he needs a father. Yeah. I see my son once a month at best, in secret. I've become such a conspirator. This is bad. But it's even worse when he sees our fights, you know? You should come to us. We have an all-female team at the orphanage. Come whenever you can and you can teach the kids. Okay, but what would I teach them? Whatever you can. What a man does in the home. <laughs> you know what? I, I can build a doll city with the boys and the girls would like that too, you know? Build it with what? I can provide materials that are safe for children. <laughs> oh, wow! What a beauty! Oh, yes, she is. Just like her mother. Oh. What will you call her? Veronica. <sighs> Do you think I won't be able to cope with your hound dog? I'll sue you for alimony. Is Nadia <laughs> supposed to cope with the baby alone, huh? What is this? You truly have no shame. When they fired you from the telephone hub, I got you an accountant's position at our factory. I pitied you like a neighbor. I understood what it is like to raise a baby alone. And what are you doing? But Tanya... There's no marriage. Tatiana, if you insist on it, I'll marry Nadia right this minute, okay? But I truly have nothing to do with her daughter. Marry her and we'll sort it out. Done. Now he's marrying you. Who? Slavka, Slavka, who else would it be? Shh. Oh, look, I went there and put some pressure on Maria and it worked. Mother, are you out of your mind? I told you Slavka is not the baby's father. Oh, so what? If he promised to marry you, why are you refusing? You'll give him another baby. He's loved you your whole entire life, Mom, Nadia. But I don't love him and I never have. Does that matter? Huh? Are you going to be alone with the baby? If you're not thinking about yourself, think about your daughter. She needs a father. You're failing to understand that I won't be happy with him. It would be bad for Veronica, too. Remember the awful fights between Sergei and Natasha? Even your Masha and Valerica are getting married, and you're clever and educated and all alone with the baby. Oh, Mom. <laughs> Mom. Kiss now! Kiss now! Kiss now! Kiss now! Kiss now! <laughs> Are you tired? Phew. Oh. Listen, Nadia, I guess you behaved not in the best way ever since your man ran away from you. <sighs> well, anyway, what's the difference? Do you need money from him now? Do you want me to talk to him? I can do that. Now Just it's point your finger. Dance of the newlyweds. Where's the bride? Got stolen again! <laughs> Masha! Huh? Masha! Go, negotiator. Let's it's go. your day today. <laughs> Nadia, we have a big dance floor. Want to get jiggy with me, as they like to say? No, Slavka, I can't. I need to go home and feed Veronica. Well, let me walk you then. Nadia, listen to me. I could join the army. Your exemption is you wanted to enter the university. There's no university without you. If we apply to the registry office now and I join the army, they'll register us quickly. They give military men perks. Mother will give us a room and you can live there with Veronica. Wait for me, okay? When I come back, we'll go to the university, I promise. So how do you like this plan, huh? It's a good plan and I am grateful, but... I'm sorry, Slavka. I'm not going to get married now, and I'm giving all my love to Veronica, but thank you. Oh, my, Sergei. You've done a great job with all these. Well, my wife and I are doing really well. We're opening the third salon so we can help out more. <laughs> Just tell us what you need. Why are your eyes so sad? If everything's going well. I saw Misha. It was through the kindergarten fence. Like sneaky little spies. That was all I could do for now. I don't... I don't want him to forget me. 
Sergey, mm. you're doing everything right. He'll grow up. I'm sure your ex will soften. So make another attempt at fixing it. Oh, oh. It's freezing, and I don't remember when it was so cold in May. I hope we don't have to shiver for too much longer. I've about had it. Yeah, oh. everybody's using central heating in their homes. I told you we shouldn't have thrown out the old stove. I'm telling you it would warm us up. It was old and cracked and we would have gotten gas poisoning at any minute. That stove was built by Pavel. He was an excellent stove setter and now that profession doesn't exist. I'll go bring the heater. It's somewhere in the closet. Mom, listen. Huh? This heater is old. Let me give you mine. It's new and oil-fueled. I'll take Veronica to my bed. There we won't get cold. Oh, come on. It has worked for 20 years and nothing has happened, but it's not safe for children to be close to it. Well, <laughs> all right, here it is. Well, from the looks of it, it's very old. Are you going to marry it or something? Misha, don't get too close. Let's right. go to bed. It's getting late. <laughs> Maybe we should switch it off for the night, Natasha? No need. Keep it on. And I'll watch it. Mm-hmm. Misha, come here. Oh, what a tragedy. Oh. Oh. We have our documents in Where there. Where are you going? I have to go in, Mother. No, don't, don't go, go in, in there. there. The no. gas is going to make it explode. Oh. Oh. No. Oh. 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 Yeah, hello. Uh-huh. Yeah, okay. I'm on my way. What happened? Misha's house burned down. Why run out if it is already burned down? How will you help? Just come back to bed for now and get some sleep. Have you woken up? Do you want me to make you tea or compote? I have such a good compote. Where is Veronica? Veronica's asleep like an angel. And Misha? And Misha's right here. And Mom and Natasha? Bad news, Nadia. They couldn't save them. means you're a homeless orphan now. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I wish it were true. Here you go. It's going to fall off of me. Well, you could tie it with a belt. You can't just wear pajamas. Nadia. Shh. Oh. What in the world is going on? It's so terrible. I brought you some clothing. I wish I had more. OK, here's a sweater. Here are some jeans. Here's the skirt that you gave me some time ago, you remember? And here are some sneakers. All right, that's it. I'll go. Slavka's standing there, and he's afraid to come in. I'll go and uh. talk to him. Uh. 
Nadia. Sergey. is this? That's my daughter, Veronica. Your daughter? When did you get married? No one told me. I had no idea. Well, I didn't get married. Uh, does that mean that that one time that we chose to, uh... N no, Veronica is only one month old. Uh... Sergey, I'm glad you're here. We can plan the funeral. Nadia's barely standing on her feet. No, why? I can get dressed and I'll help. Hold on. Sergey's here. He'll do everything. He's a reliable man. You don't have to worry. I know. them from going back it's not your fault please it's not your fault I should have gone and switched the heater off instead of just sleeping that night Nadia stop blaming yourself won't make it easier tell me what plans you have about where you'll live I'll stay with Polina for now I don't know about later she is going to sell the house and move out to her sisters no that won't do you Veronica and Misha are going to the city we have a big apartment out there you're not a stranger to me you're my son's aunt I can't do that. It's too awkward. It doesn't have to be. No, I can't do that. If you're thinking about that time, it won't happen again. Don't be afraid. Nadia, believe me. If you say no to my offer, I'll be very upset. I will come then. <sighs> so much, Sergei. Natasha didn't appreciate you, but that's rude of me to say. Now you... you take care of them, you hear? I will. Polina, thank you for being so kind. Honey, what else could I do? Tatiana was my best friend. Oh, 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 oh. There was a house and a family, and now there are just ashes. Oh, I'll go to my sisters. I have no one left around here. Let me hold Veronica. No, let me, let me hold her for the last time. Let me, oh my, oh my good girl. Oh, when will I see you? Cover her legs, keep her warm. Goodbye, Polina Markovna. Goodbye. <laughs> Are you all right? Hey, why would you jump out in front of my car? Sergey, hold on, please. Nadia, please don't leave. Slavka, if it weren't for this misfortune, I wouldn't have to go anywhere. Just live in my house. I told you, my mom is okay with it. You'll have a separate room, and you know people here. Slavka, I'm sorry, but living in your house would mean living with you, and I don't want to commit to that. Come on, love is nothing but a word. I will not let you go. I have enough love for us both. Look, man. Leave her alone. She's leaving. But this is your fault. You're taking her away, and you're not even related. Are you related? I'm the father of her child. Sergey, let's go now. Is that true? What? That the guy is... Veronica's father? If that's none of my business, just tell me.
I took a closer look at Veronica. You know, I remember little Misha well. He was smaller as a one-month-old. He only learned to hold his head. She's quite big for her age. You sure she's a month old? Yes. And Slavka told the truth. You saw how big he was. Veronica takes after him. Does the truth change our plans in any way? I mean, does the fact that Slavka is Veronica's father make you not want to live with us? No, Nadia, not at all. I'm glad Misha has a sister. Even though she's a cousin. What's wrong? I'm just scared. But we came home. Potapich, it's our house. We're going to live here and Nadia and Veronica too. Let's go. Misha, I'm scared too. But everything will be all right. We're here with Dad now. Okay? Okay, dear, <laughs> meet Nadia and Misha, my little man. You're finally here. I've been waiting for so long. I even had time to go to the toy store and buy gifts for someone. Who are those for? For the one who's going to wash his hands, eat some food, and play with all of them. <laughs> right this way. Please come in. My friend... Gave me the bed and some other things. She was going to have another baby, but her plans changed. I've prepared a bed for you. Here are two sets of bed sheets. I don't know how often you usually change them. I like to do it often, but that's me. Men don't see it with their eyes, but they feel the freshness in the bed. Nadia, don't be silent. Tell me what you need. Perhaps I'm missing something. No, no, it's quite all right, but thank you. You must be tired. Make yourself comfortable and rest. It's good that your girl is a quiet one. There are toddlers like the one my friend with the bed had, and the entire family couldn't sleep for a straight year. <sighs> How old is your girl? She's a month. She's a month? Mm-hmm. I wouldn't have guessed that, but I'm not any baby expert. Now get some rest. Oh, sweetheart, here you go. How do you like them? They're my famous cutlets. Sergey adores thank them. Thank you. They're delicious. I'll make some more for you. No, no, no. I'm full, but thank you. Oh, I wouldn't say no. Well, Misha ate them up happily. Some kids are picky, but they like good food. No, Potapich is special. He's never been a picky eater. By the way, I've got great news for you. I've arranged a place in kindergarten for Misha through one of my clients. No, I'm against that. It's too early for him to go after that stress. But we both work, so who's going to be with him? Well, I can. Misha knows and loves me very much. That isn't going to help us a week, then another week, and then what? I think you're mistaken. I brought Nadia forever. This is permanent? Yeah. She and her daughter are now living with us. Forever. Excuse me, I think that there's a misunderstanding. Of course we're not going to stay here forever. I'll find a way to sort my life out and- Nadia, hold on. Lilia. But what are you even talking about? Her house burned down and her family's dead. Nadia, I'm sorry, I just... You're welcome here with us. By the way, I've been offered a new location with major benefits for us. <laughs> A fourth salon? Yeah, you think we can manage? 
Oh, we surely will. And we have lots of loyal clients. Sergey, you should go there tomorrow and take a look. Lilia, do you really want to get me involved in your new ventures, huh? No. <laughs> <laughs> I know you don't have any money to buy yourself new clothes, but I have so many. And sometimes I want to buy more, but I just have no room to store it, so I deny myself. Now that you're here, I won't have to. All right, here you go. Oh, your clothes are beautiful. Well, if it is, take this off. And take off your jeans. What's hot right now? Many layers, I think. And brightness. And especially the combination of colors. I have a good figure because I have no kids, and I have no time with my business, but Sergei loves children. It was a happy accident because he now gets his son. A happy accident? My house burned down. My mom and sister died, so you're mistaken. Uh oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean it like that. I'm talking about Sergei. We're in love, and everything is all right. We have a flat and everything, but just no children. And now I won't have to worry about that. Girls, can I come in? Sure, come on in. Oh, well, you look great. Hmm? Take a look at your sister-in-law. Well, well, well. Nadia, you look so good. You look like a fine lady. You're a real beauty. Potapich, what's the matter? I want to go home. But we are living well here, aren't we? Look at this playground. We didn't have that before, you know? You have your new toys, and your, your dad is with you every day. So is Aunt Lilia. Mmm, smells delicious. Is that baked pudding? Yes, you're quite right. Yeah, I remember your pudding. I never had anything like it. You're just very hungry. Will you eat now or wait for Lilia? I'll eat now mm -hmm. or I'll die. Lilia doesn't need a dead husband. <laughs> come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. No, I'm so hungry. Come on. Ah. Mm -hmm. We should register you. You're living here like mice, maybe birds. Are we like birds or like mice? Like aquarium <laughs> fishes. Oh. Bring the documents. Ah, mm-hmm. Here you go. Mm-hmm. You want some more? Yes, please, yes, please. <clears throat> oh, now I see. What? that Veronica wasn't born only a month ago, or even two. She was born exactly when I thought. Nadia, why didn't you tell me? Why did you do it? She is my daughter. No, Nadia, I'm not a scumbag. I'm not going to abandon my children for anything. Hello. What's going on here? What's with your faces? It's all right. We're getting documents for Nadia. What actually happened? As soon as I came in, I realized that something was off. I don't even know what to say. You should just say it. You know that I'm always on your side and I'll support you. When I looked at the documents, I saw that Veronica was born after Nadia and I... Had an affair? 
We didn't have an affair. I didn't think of her as a woman at all. She was just my wife's kid's sister. When Natasha stopped letting me near Misha, I was worried, I was upset, and... I stayed at Sashka's house back then, and uh, Nadia brought Misha. She came and said that she didn't manage to do it. I had a drink, I had a chance to hug my son, and it didn't work out. I had a drink, and I don't know uh, how it happened, but I, uh, I can't explain it. it. It was all somewhat by accident. Anyway, I barely even remember it. Do you believe me? Yes, I believe you. Of course I won't abandon my daughter, and I'll register all the documents properly. What do we do now? Well, it's a miracle that the children survived, right? We'll deal with the rest of it. Just know that I am your loyal wife, and I support you. You're so wonderful. <laughs> You're the best in the world. Oh, I'm so lucky to have you. Sleep, my adoring man. <laughs> Sleep. Sorry for waking you up. I just wanted to talk to you in private. I know I can because everyone's asleep. Go ahead. I just wanted to say, I wanted to. I know you weren't expecting me and Veronica. I thought that you and Sergey had discussed it. I have a friend who works in the hospital here, so I'll call her and think of something. I love Sergei very much, so much. I don't know life without him, and they just destroyed him in your village. I got him back together with my own hands. I did that, do you see? I, yes, I see how well he is doing here. Veronica and I are just a piece of the past, and... It's nobody's fault. Don't worry, Veronica and I are going to leave tomorrow. I don't want Sergei to know about this conversation. No, no, I'll think of something. I'll find a way so that he won't go looking for me and his daughter. Lilia, you know that I lost my home. I know what it feels like, Lilia. I'm not going to destroy someone else's home. Hmm? Just be nice to Misha. Do you promise? I promise. That's a disobedient boot. Tell him, Misha, come on. Who is supposed to be obedient? Who's the one in charge? Misha. There you go. It obeyed you, and it got on your foot. Potapich, you ready? Here you go. Where's Nadia? Why, dear? I just wanted to say goodbye. She's feeding Veronica. Why say goodbye? You're not leaving forever. Well, okay, come on. Potapich, let's go. The first to get there is a good boy. Come on. Good luck to you. <laughs> Thank you. I got him out so you can go now. I'm calling her, but she's not picking up. That's all right. I also have a friend, and I'm sure she could take you. She's a good woman. No, I can't go to a strange person with a child, so I'd just better go back home. No, you can't go back. Sergey will find you there and bring you back here. You'll be fine with Luba. I've already called her, and she'll meet you at the station. I'll give you some money to start. All right, it's time to get ready. Is it very far? No, not really. Just promise me that there won't be any letters or phone calls. I already promised. 
It's the taxi. All right, it's time to go. Come on, Potapich. We're hungry, aren't we, big boy? Yes! yes! Have you washed your hands? Go do it in the bathroom. The soup's coming. Hold on, another minute. Why only three plates? Nadia's gone? Uh, Nadia isn't here. But where is she? Is, is she alone, though? Or somewhere with Veronica? With Veronica, and after everything we've done for her, she asked for a suitcase. Why didn't you stop her? Oh, what was I supposed to do? Fight her or not let her go? She would have left either way if I didn't give her one. Is that wrong? But where did she go? She has no one. I asked her that many times, and she said she doesn't have to report to me. She called someone in the morning and said she'd be better off there with them. Where did she go? Why are you screaming? Did I not welcome her? I got her a bed and gave her my clothes, so what else could I have done? You could have asked her where she was going, at least. I did, but she only said she was going to Siberia. <laughs> Siberia? Hey, you know what I thought? When she was packing, she called someone. She closed the door, and she sounded so happy. Perhaps Veronica's not your daughter. That can't be. The documents match the timing of it. I don't know Nadia well, but I got the impression that she was a serious person, a little stubborn, and I think she must have had a plan that she didn't want to share with us. Why did she leave without telling me? Perhaps she had no time, or didn't want to talk to you, or she was scared you'd talk her out of it. Why bother guessing? She'll call or write when she's settled and unpacked. Oh, let's forget this and just enjoy my borscht that you love. Misha! Nadia, oh goodness, I was talking to a neighbor and then I saw the time, I'm, I'm sorry I'm late. That's right, and this is Veronica. That's what I thought. I saw you sitting here just now, all alone. I met Luba. <laughs> all right, shall we get going? <laughs> I'll get your suitcase, and you just take the baby. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we were just chatting. We were blah, 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 blah. <laughs> All right. We're here that way. Yes. All right. This is my house. Yes. All right. Hold on. Right. Come on. Go on in. Yes, uh, dear. Go on in now. Up. Up. Yes. Okay. Well, I'm unpacked and the baby's asleep. All right, then. Well, this is my beloved kitchen. Use anything here, any time, but sit so I can feed you now. Oh, I feel bad. You're cooking so much. Well, this isn't just for me. I have a neighbor, Boris Borosovich. He likes my cooking a lot, especially cabbage rolls. He's quite a lonely man, so I cook for him. He enjoys it, and he gives me money. Mm -hmm. Sit down. Have some salad. Mm-hmm. Mmm. 
Mm. You know what? Either I'm hungry or I haven't tasted a more delicious pilaf in my life. We're also going to heat up the sauna. Mm. You've never been to such a sauna before in your life. Mm. Come in, come in. You know it's open now. I only lock the door at night, but not during the day. It's not a prison. Hello in there. Oh, <laughs> you have guests. This is Nadia. Nice to meet you. Please enjoy your meal. Thank She's you. living here with her daughter. Oh, a daughter? Mm-hmm. So how old is she? Oh, almost a year now. Well, that means you will celebrate the first birthday here, I take it. The most important one. No, really, there's no need. <laughs> okay. Oh, what yes, What would you like you. tomorrow? Meat soup or stewed potatoes with mushrooms? Oh, you decide. You make everything tasty. And thank you. Goodbye now, ladies. Till tomorrow, then. Goodbye, Goodbye dear. He dreamed of a daughter. He really likes children. But his wife was very ill. She couldn't give birth to a child. She ended up dying two years ago. He never left her, and he's a very good man, an auditor. You know that job? I do. Our women, the divorced and unmarried ones, they only dream of him. They hit on him on one way or another, especially when he comes to the accounting departments. They run to the salon and get their hair and nails done. It's quite a sight, I must say. And I wish them good luck. But he hasn't chosen one. Hmm. Well, he must be grieving over his wife. Oh, he grieved it all out when she was ill. Anyway, he's kind. He doesn't drink or smoke. And he's practical. I went to his house myself. And it's great. It's so clean. But there's no wife. Once again, please, but calm down. You say it's been three days since she went missing. Yes. She left on Wednesday. I called. Stop, but stop, she doesn't... stop. How did she leave? I don't know, on a plane or something. I told you. All right, wait. Look, a missing person and going away are two different things. An adult citizen got on a plane or a train and went somewhere, so we can't report this. I'm sorry. That's all there is to it. But she's not returning my calls, and her phone is unavailable. <sighs> um, how are you related to, to this woman? She's my late wife's sister. So she's no one to you. And she has every right not to answer your calls, call you, or inform you of where she went, sir. Perhaps uh, she just ran away from you. There's nothing to do. Having said that, we have no grounds to begin a search for her. <sighs> Nadia. <gasps> Shh, oh. Veronica's asleep. Mm. I bought some things for you. Here are diapers, sterilizer, and bottles. Uh, this is good for chewing when the teeth start growing, you know, and this is a carousel. Well, to be hung over the bed. Oh, and some clothes. Why did you buy so many things, Boris? Are you serious? Everything's different. I... I feel uncomfortable. <laughs> Nadia, if you would please allow me. I'd like to buy everything for you. No, no, I don't need anything. That is final. I got it. I got it. Well, this thing isn't for you. Oh, no, 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 no. <clears throat> oh, thank you. Boris, goodness. Oh, that's so wonderful of you. Excuse me? Mm-hmm. Yes, hello. Nadia. Why are you offending such a generous man? Because I feel uncomfortable. How am I going to thank him? While you were away, he went and prepared a surprise for you. Another surprise? Yes. Let me show you. Let's go. Come on, come on. This way. <laughs> Look here. I had it in the attic. Long time. So Boris went and found it, assembled it, and even fixed some parts. <laughs> I washed it with hot water. He told me, just don't tell Nadia. She'll come in and be surprised. <laughs> but yet you told me. Well, it didn't fall from the sky. I'm glad I told you. <laughs> oh. 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 All right. <sighs> Let's have some tea. Come on, come on. Come on. It's a great time for some tea. Boris, honey, are you upset? Do you want to take it back? No, not at all. I'm just organizing because I don't like a mess. 
Ah, uh, Nadia, get the kettle. Mm -hmm. Boris, now sit down. I have cabbage pastries especially for you. Uh, why, thank you. Yes, Luba's delicious meals uh, remind me of food in uh, classical literature. Russian writers were always very good at describing it. Leg of mutton with porridge. Mm-hmm, and viziga pie. Open pie, kolbyaka. Do you remember Chekhov's special gooseberry jam? You like to read? I do. Hey, reader, what about the pies? Ah, uh, oh. Uh, Nadia, I have a big library. Uh, and you should come by and take what you want to read. Oh, thank you so much, Boris. Veronica is sleeping, and soon I'll be reading. It's so great. <laughs> oh, she's up from her nap. Uh, uh, let me go rock her. Uh, uh, I'll manage. And you wanted to thank me, didn't you? Nadia, let him go if he wants to. Mm. No. Yes, you can go. Just don't take her out of her bed. No, I won't. She's silent. Mm-hmm. But what does that mean? She likes his strong male hands. Hmm? <laughs> oh, Nadia, you're a splitter. My house has never been so clean. Well, there's a baby in it, so I have to be extra clean. I think you would have perfect order in your house, even without a baby. Where is your house, anyway? Nadia, don't take offense. I wasn't saying that to hurt you. Raise your head and see. Look there. There's Boris's house. It's a real palace. Just move your finger and he'll be yours. He is attached to you and your baby girl, dear. Sure, I know that, but I just What's can't. wrong? I'm in love with a different man. The one who gave you a baby and made you wander around? Oh, no, it's much more complicated. I don't need these complications anymore. And you don't need them either. There's Boris right there. Where is your man? And your girl has no father. Nobody would say that's good for her. Oh, so you're kicking me out. I'm not kicking you out, silly. You know you're welcome. Stay here forever. But everyone needs a real home. Your baby mm. needs a family. Men like Boris are not easily found anymore. You're going to be kicking yourself. You should take him when he's ripe and ready to drop for you. <laughs> <laughs> What's so funny about that? Nothing, but I'm laughing because it's like we're cooking a hare before it's caught. Boris hasn't proposed to me yet. Yeah, Boris is surely a running hare. <laughs> he is. Oh, Luba. <laughs> you know, Nadia, I'll tell you this. You need to learn to direct a man so that he will propose to you. If he feels that you're going to reject him, he won't even dare. <laughs> Therefore, think of how you're going to accept. And don't tell him about your love. There's no need. Are you suggesting I lie to him? Tell him later. But please get married first. Oh, goodness, Luba. He turned out to be a good designer. Look, he gave me a closet and a little kitchen so that the employees would be able to eat without going anywhere. Oh. You drew her so wonderfully. She's like a model for our new salon. Or is it a princess? It's Aunt Nadia. <laughs> Nadia. You're right. It's her and her eyes, too. Mm-hmm. What a beauty. Right? I made some pea soup. The cabbage was really bad, but I promise that tomorrow it will be much better. Nadia, I'd like to talk to you. Oh, uh, you can talk here. My show is starting, so I'll go now. Nadia, I was offered a job in Makarovsk. It's a big city, and there's more work, and the salary is good. But if I leave, I won't be able to see you or Veronica anymore. Boris, listen, No, no, I... no, don't say a word. Listen to me first. Sit down and listen, please. Sit here. Uh, as I was saying... I understand that it looks very absent-minded due to the fact that we've met such a short time ago. But... Nadia, I'm asking you to marry me and go to Makarovsk with me. Boris Borisovich, 
You're such a wonderful man, and I can see how nice you are to Veronica. It's not just to Veronica. I know. And I'm sure that I'd feel nice and comfortable there with you. But there's one thing. Anyway, I will understand and take no offense if you want to take it back. No, because I meant it. Now you listen to me, please. You never once asked who Veronica's father was. Because it doesn't matter. It does for me. The thing is, I love that man very much. But it doesn't matter anymore because we are never going to be together. If this does not concern you, I... I agree to go to Makarovsk. And I promise I'll never see this man again for my whole life. <sighs> that is enough. If you need more time to think... No. There's no need to think. Mm. All right. I'll find a place to live as soon as it's ready, and I'll bring you and Veronica. That okay? Yes. <sighs> it's about time. Oh. Sergey, mm. it looks like money has been withdrawn from our account to the Orphanage 3. Yes, I told you. I'm helping them. My former teacher is the director there now. And she raised me. I understand. But I think the amount is too high. So perhaps we could... Lilia. I promised I'd help them regularly. I skipped a couple of months and sent everything at once. Sergey, you need to understand. I'm not saving money for them, but we need to be somewhat more practical about it so that our business won't suffer. If we send so much money, we'll have barely anything left for ourselves. Lilia, there are kids who have no families and no homes at all. We can't provide for all the orphans in the world. It's enough that we already have one. <laughs> hey, are you out of your mind? <laughs> Son, I'm sorry. Hmm? Let's go. I'll help you with your game in the other room. Let's go. This way. <sighs> Let's go. I want to show you everything here. What if Veronica wakes up in a new place and gets scared? Oh, don't worry. Come, have a look. That's right. This thing here is a baby phone. I've turned the volume up all the way, and if the baby wakes up, we'll hear her right away, okay? Here you go. Thank you, Boris. Where do you even get such things? <sighs> well, and since we're starting a new life here, I'm asking you please accept all my gifts. I will try to. Hmm. Let's become better friends. Can we do that? <sighs> Ask if I want a cup of tea, huh? You want some tea? <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. Wow, you women are so sly. Life makes us that way. But you and I starting a new life today, and I hope no one will have to be sly. Let's make a deal. Yes, I tell the truth, and you do the same. Sound good? That is a great idea, <laughs> Boris. <sighs> This is not yours. Come here. Do you see that door? That's another room there. Let's go. This is yours. It's mine? Yes, this is your bedroom. You can sleep here until you decide the time is right for us to be together. Really? Nadia. I... I understand. And I'm trying not to rush things at all. Oh, thank you, Boris. I think that I've chosen the right father for my little girl. Mm. 
Nadia, you're a lovely cook, but um, I wouldn't want to turn you into a housemaid. Am I fired? No, no way. I'd like to send you to some classes, though. What, for culinary arts? Not really. Weren't you dreaming about going to medical school? Oh, yes, but that was before I had Veronica. And that's still okay. Other families manage somehow. Veronica has a father now, and he'll try to find a babysitter. Oh, Boris, I will never be able to repay you for everything you do for us. Well, it's much simpler than you're thinking. And so then? And so then... Get married to me. Make Veronica our child. I want to be a husband and a father. Well, I have some money saved, and if, well, God forbid, something happens to me, you will get it all. No, I don't even want to hear anything about something bad happening. All right. So you live with me not because of property, but because of protection for your daughter, after all. If registration is is so important for your happiness, then I will agree to it, of course. Yeah, and there's one more thing. I would like you and uh, Veronica to have my last name. Uh, only that way, we will be a real family. Veronica Vasilkova. I like it. <laughs> All right, get to the table. Come back, dear. Oh, where did you All go? Right. This way. Thank you for having okay, me. Okay, Come on, now, let's go. I wanted to say that I've known Boris for a very long time. Yeah. Frankly speaking, my friend, I thought that you'd never find a wife with your accountant's boring approach to reality. <laughs> Thank God I was wrong. But you have to agree, dear ladies. However wonderful and amazing you are, each of you has at least, um, how shall I put this? Flaws, am I right, Margarita? Uh, Just little uh, ones. But Bori is a persistent man, and he found the one and only, the one who is worthy of him, and who would stand up to any audit. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations, my friend. Thank you very much. I truly envy you, and you better share a kiss. Kiss, kiss now. now. Kiss, kiss now. now. Kiss, kiss now. now. Kiss now. Kiss now. Mm -hmm. uh, well, I've got to say, the house is just gorgeous, man. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm happy to boast about it. Thank you. This is what I'm proud of. I want to congratulate you. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. Oh. Never mind, Margarita. She had her eye on Boris a long time ago. Ah, so he moved here because of her? Well, let's say she recommended him. You know how much money's there. And so they work together. Don't be jealous. I've known Boris forever. He's not the type. Please excuse me. Nadia, you're leaving? I'm just going to check the duck. Do you need help, my bride? No, no, but thank you. Yeah, right. We can't feed on your kisses alone, really. Uh, well, all right. Really? Uh, yeah, I, <laughs> I agree with it. you. Can I help you in here? Oh, no, but thank you. Go in there and have fun. I'm sure you can manage. But help is never unneeded. <laughs> well, perhaps you know that um, I liked Boris, and that sometimes I thought, well, you'll know the details without me. <laughs> but he chose you, and I respect his decision. So you don't have to be afraid of me, okay? <laughs> I'm not afraid of you. And there's one more thing you need to know, okay? Boris and I work together. We ride around the region and perform audits. We'll keep on doing that. And so then, I think the best option for us would be to become best friends. I hope you don't have any new friends here yet. No, I haven't made any. So will I be the first? <laughs> here, let me, for the sake of our friendship. Hmm. Well, if you're making a nest, you're a little bird. Yes, 
I like it. <laughs> well, if I am a bird, I'm going to be the one to nest. This is not a fictitious marriage. Look, I feel really awful saying this, but I won't be able to transfer any more money. Sergey, you didn't even have to. You really done so much for us. But I had to. I really had to. It's the same as to stop helping your parents or brothers and sisters. Did something happen? <sighs> I left Lilia. But why? I thought everything was good. Well, I thought so too. It's a good thing to work. And earn money. It's pleasant to have your things and to be able to help others. But it all changed. The second salon, third salon, and so on. Yeah, that's all that matters to her, really. What? Salons and their profits. Calculating her earnings and her expenses. But she can't spare money for the orphanage or for Misha. She wants to invest all of it. And the worst thing is that she never learned to love Misha like a son. And he doesn't love her either. <laughs> but he still remembers Nadia. She never showed up after she left? I looked everywhere for her. What are you going to do? Misha and I have rented a flat. I'm starting a company and when I make money, I'll start transferring money again like I want to. Don't lose faith in me. <sighs> Sergey, you never cease to amaze me. <laughs> Anatoly, it all depends on you now. Your attending physician is telling you to stick to the regimen, right? You ending up in the neurology department is your fault. We don't want you to get appendicitis or a heart attack. How? How can one possibly control emotions in my profession? Hush, hush now. My dear Nadia, I'm under stress nearly all the time. I finish one case and another case starts. You know, being a lawyer, it's a stressful job. You should try to not be forced to come again. <laughs> but I'm glad that I'm here, because I met you. You're better than any medicine could be. When I look at you, I believe that life is wonderful and that life is amazing. Oh, yes. You should keep on living with that positivity. But don't count on me. I'm a resident here, and I'm not sure if they will keep me here for long. Well, in that case, here's my card to stay in touch. Don't you ever hesitate to call me. Thanks a lot, but I hope I won't be needing a lawyer's help ever, sir. I'm not going to break the law. Oh, if only we helped nobody but hardened criminals at my job. There is no fence against ill fortune. Didn't you know that? Someone in here just said that life is beautiful. I would prefer it if we could just stick to that thesis. It would be very hard to argue with you. That's right. Listen. As far as I can see, you have everything in order here. We have good accountants, and I keep an eye on it, too. But we could probably use an audit. Oh, yes, I know. And that's how we survive. Yeah? That's today? Oh, I forgot, I forgot. Uh, look, Nadia, I'm not going to make it home. Can you pick me up? Where at? Uh, Pantolivskaya 8. Pantolivskaya 8. Where are you? All right, drive up here, then. So I guess we're done for the day. So you're taking off? Yeah, my wife made plans, and I forgot about it. 
Yeah, I have to go too. My young son is home alone. <sighs> Sergei Vasilyevich, meet my wife, Nadia. Hello there, sir. Hello there, ma'am. Boris, let's go. Parking's not allowed. Uh, right, let's right. Go. I guess I'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Nadia, you didn't fasten your belt. Why are we just sitting here? You're acting like you saw a ghost. That is because it was a ghost. Excuse me? That's the man. Veronica's father. <sighs> Did you talk to him? No, and I promised I wouldn't. Did you know he was in Makarovsk? I did, but I never looked for him or met with him, and I'll never meet with him because I'm rarely in this area, even. I only came to pick you up. Well, now you know where to look for him, right? Can you promise me again that- That I'll never meet him? No problem, I promise. I give you my word. What else do you want? Nothing. I believe you. So let's go. <sighs> Boris, mm? you like liver cake, right? However, this is not mm. just any liver cake, you know. Mm. I made your mother's recipe. Do you remember that you gave it to me? This is the taste of my childhood. Oh, you're a magician. Mm, thank you. Nadia, you're not drinking anything. Perhaps you don't like the wine? Mm. Let me pour you some cognac. Margarita has some tasty stuff. Her admirers give it to her, and that's the best type of man, because they treat a woman as good as they treat themselves. Why is that? Why is that? Because they want to conquer her, mm -hmm. but without blood or with war. Mm. It's with cozy caresses and with gentleness. Oh, no, thank you. I don't want any. <laughs> Doctor, do you think that drinking is bad? <laughs> this is a popular misconception, so cheers. <laughs> all right, friends. We have a lot of food to eat here. In order to have it all, we need to loosen up a little, okay? Let's do this. Mm. Boris, mm. do me the honor. Uh. Hmm. Yes, my pleasure. <laughs> Nadia, I hope you're not jealous. Of you? No, of course not. I'm not very jealous. <sighs> Nadia, um, would you like to dance with me? Please? Oh, sorry, <laughs> but I danced at work already today, but thank you. Why did you run away? Or was I hitting on Boris too hard? I'm sorry, it's all good. Margarita. What is it? I need to tell somebody. What? You remember what I said about Sergei? Yes. Well, I saw him today. I came to pick Boris up and he's auditing Sergei's company. And how did that make you feel? Nauseous. Well, nauseous is good. I guess it means that you're still in love with him. What's good about that? Well, perhaps it would be. Uh, best to go to your first love? People do say it's the truest, hmm? No, I'm not a traitor. Boris is too loyal a man. <laughs> Nadia, Nadia, wait. We need to have a talk. Go ahead, I'm all ears. Why do you talk to me like that? You were the one who ran away and I looked everywhere for you. Why not? You have your own family and I have mine. Well, if you're talking about Lilia, we got divorced a long time ago. I live with Misha. I'm not a bad father. I never doubted that. Why are you hiding my daughter from me? Sergei, Veronica has a father and he is a good one. Can I see her at least? I don't know. Hold on. It's my cell.
If you don't call him, he's going to stalk you. Or worse, start talking to Boris. And do you need that? I don't think so. Just show him your daughter like he wants. Let him look at her. Tell him that she's doing fine. She has a mother, a father, a house, everything. You really need some closure on this issue. Yeah, you're right, and I'll think about it. Don't think about it, just call. Imagine what shock it will be for the child if he catches her and tells her who he is. No, Sergei is not like that. <laughs> People can change. Better make a safe bed instead of kicking yourself. Call him. Hello, Sergey. This is me. Uh, I'll let you see Veronica if you promise that you won't try to see me or her afterwards at all, okay? Tomorrow at 2 in the city park. All right. Boris. Yes? I'm very sorry to interrupt, but this is kind of serious. Oh, what? You have a problem, Boris. I do? Well, what is it? What happened? Nadia has been lying to you. I had to tell you, even though she's my friend. Uh, don't start, Margarita. I'm not in the mood. Honestly, it was like a bolt of lightning for me, too. I even thought I got to know her pretty well, you know, over all these years. More importantly, I know her well. We both know her very well, right? And Nadia cannot lie to me. Okay, fine. You don't have to believe me. I just so happen to know where they're meeting today. Misha, go play with Aunt Nadia's daughter. There's a playground behind you. It's for little kids. Please go play with your little sister. Let's go. alike, don't you think? That's logical, because they're not strangers. They are, since we're apart. And someone else is raising my daughter. What makes you think that I have to be with you? The fact that I love you. I realized it when you left. I don't need anyone but you. I don't understand. What violations? You said it was all right. You were finishing the audit and our documents were in perfect order. All the documents look like they are in perfect order at first sight, but when you start checking them, you find violations. That is the auditing world. I never knew the difference between cutlets and rissoles. <laughs> <laughs> Even though, I always thought of myself as a foodie. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, by the way, do you remember how I uh, performed the audit of the construction company of Sergei Seri? Oh, I almost forgot the cabbage. Mm. Mm hmm. Cabbage would be good. Anyway, I found a lot of violations, and today I learned that, that he really is a con man. He's a real-life swindler. He even got arrested. Oi. Who are you calling? They must have taken his phone, Boris. I'm going there. Where to? Sergei lives with his son only, so that means Misha is alone now. And what is it to you? Misha is my nephew. It's me, Nadia. Dad told me not to let anyone in. But it's me, your aunt. You recognize me at the park. Potapich, don't be scared.
And don't think that your dad is a criminal. He's not guilty of anything, do you understand? This is a mistake, they'll let him out. But what will I do while he's in there? You'll come to my house, it's fine. Veronica will be happy to see you and you'll come back home when your dad is out, hmm? Come on, go and pack your things. These are emotions. Do you know any facts on this case? I don't know the details, but I'm sure Sergei is not guilty. But you said your husband is a good auditor. If he says that there are violations, then it's likely true. But I know Sergei too, and believe me, these violations are either mistakes or accidental because he would not break the law. All right. I'll look into it. Misha! Where are you? Potapich? Don't shout, please. He's not even here. Where is he? He's where a criminal's son belongs. He's in an orphanage. This is not a place for a criminal's child. But why? How could you do that, Boris? You are not that kind of a man. Well, in that case, I'm taking Veronica and I'm leaving. Where to? All alone? Well then, if I disgust you so much, then I will go. She never actually understood or appreciated you. <sighs> How could she cheat on such a wonderful sweetheart like yourself? Oh, thank you. Let alone actually bringing her lover's son into her husband's home? I mean, it's insane. No, I did so much for her, and I believed her. What a fool I am. And I would never do what she did. No, Alexandra, it all happened without me knowing. I would have never sent my nephew to an orphanage while I'm alive. Please, just let me take him, please. Uh, you see, I'm really sorry, but you need to understand I don't believe in Sergei's guilt and hope they're releasing him soon, but... But your nephew was actually delivered here officially. Your husband registered him through social services. If, well, if you really want to take him, you need to gather all documents to prove that you're related. Well... But would you let me see him at least? Absolutely, they're bringing him. Nadia! Misha! Did you come pick me up? Will you take me home now? I will, yes, of course I will. But I need to get permission first. Will you wait for me? <sighs> hmm? Yeah, I will. Have you seen Dad? How is he? He... He is fine. And you'll be fine, do you believe me? I do. Mm-hmm. Nadia, if you don't mind, can you bring the things that I need here? Oh, yeah, of course, dear. Call me from there, and I'll tell you what to take and where yeah, they yeah. are. Yeah, <sighs> All right, goodbye. <gasps> Misha! Will, will it be all right if Veronica and I stay at your place until they release your dad from jail? Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Nadia, it's me. <sighs> Nadia, I'm calling to confess something. Well, Boris is at my place now. I don't know how it happened, and well, it's actually, it's just desire, okay? What do I do with this desire? <sighs> Nadia, I feel somewhat guilty and I don't know. If you'll forgive me, uh, I hope you do, of course. Con congratulations, uh, what do you mean? Are you serious? Well, well, I felt that you had no real love for him and... <laughs> well then, thank you, Nadia. <laughs>
Ah, uh, how do I persuade you? There were no violations. I had all the documents, but they didn't find them. Where'd they disappear to? That's a good question. I think if we understand where they disappeared, you'll be halfway free from the charges. I'll try to find the loose ends with this. But there's one problem. All my accounts are frozen. I won't be able to pay you. You don't need to pay me anything. The services have been paid. What? They were paid for by Nadia Vasilkova. Do you know her? Who's there? Nadia, it's me. Open up. Nadia, I made a big mistake. Hush, Veronica's asleep. Nadia, I'm sorry, and I'm guilty, and I came to say that. Well, if you're talking about Margarita, then I'm not offended. Really? Perhaps she'll come back home then? No. I understand you're mad because of Misha, but please let him live with his father. If you come home, he'll be released in a few more days. How can you know that? Hmm. Hmm. Nadia, I'm an auditor. I can make a person guilty or innocent. It's in my hands, or rather in yours. If you come back home, Sergei will get his freedom, and Misha. So, the documents that went missing, you've had them this entire time? And how do you know about them? Did you go to meet him? Well, I hired a very good lawyer to help Sergei, and he actually told me everything. Oh, wow, we have so many defenders, but who's going to defend me here, huh? The family I created was invaded blatantly, and I had to protect myself and you. You promised me. You promised me, Nadia, and if you kept your word, this wouldn't have ever happened. Boris! You need to return the documents. I want you to come home, and we'll live like we did. Only then will I find a way to get those documents. What if I don't come back? Then I'll destroy them, and he'll go to prison. Oh, and remember, if you try to divorce me, I'll sue to get Veronica. Then I'll come back home. But only if Sergei's really released. I'll be waiting. Hello, Anatoly, it's me. I'm sorry for calling so late, but it's bad. Boris said that he has Sergei's acquittance, and if I come home, he will release the documents to show that he's innocent. You're a lawyer. You should know better. Think about how to use this information. He can destroy the documents at any moment. Boris Vasilkov. We'd like to ask a few questions. Do you mind? Because he's your father. Let's go. 